Okay. Swank, fill me in about Benny. Hell of a thing, baby. Hell of a thing. Well, it was my idea. Well, me and the rest of the Rat Pack boys. We took it to Benny, and he thought it was a good idea. A few years later, here we are. The best show in New Vegas. Benny? Uh, he's an alright cat, you dig? He don't got much musical talent, but he knows how to run a business. When he's around, anyways. Well, now, you didn't hear this from Tommy, but Benny likes to go off on a bender now and then. Usually he's only gone a couple of days, but this last time, nobody saw him for almost a month. Ask me? I think he's got a dame from Gamora, holed up in a suite, because nobody ever saw him leave it. Well, apart from serving as a talent manager, show schedule, and all-around man in charge of this fine theater, I happen to be its headline act. Every night from 8 till midnight, come on by to see the Rad Pack Review live, only right here at the Aces Theater. Well, acts are a bit thin on the ground right now, but every night from 8 to midnight, we got the Rad Pack Review. Songs, dancing, jokes, we got it all. Sure, baby, sure. Tommy's always looking for new talent to bring to the Aces. Tell you what, you see any good acts while you're out wandering, give them my card. If they work out, I'll give you a 3% cut of the door. Just swing back by as you recruit folks. I'll get you your bread. Ooh, a shop customer. All right, all right, 5% it is. Now, why would you want to go breaking Tommy's heart asking a question like that? Here I run the finest entertainment venue in all New Vegas, and you're asking me, what else is there? Nothing close to what we got here at the Tops, that's for sure. It's cool, baby. Tommy's a forgiving fella. Take it easy, baby. You again? You should meet my bookie. You have something in common. Every time I talk to you, I lose caps. All right, then make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly a lucrative career enterprise here. Yeah? Hey, you're all right. Tell him I'll do it for 100 a night. No, 50. No, 20. 10. Just don't rob me. I'll do it. Whoa, geez, what was I thinking? You're right. I gotta go in there with a cool head, tell them how much I'm really worth. Hell of a place, huh?
just as a warning, my advantage. Nelson will serve as an example. We'll bleed the ground red with anyone who opposes our peace efforts. Howdy, little lady. My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Me and Ma didn't have much, ever since Papa up and left. That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. Maybe. Maybe I just never felt like I belonged back home. It sure wasn't easy. Ma worked her fingers to the bone to make sure we had enough to survive. And I worked the coal mines from when I was 15. After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find the paw and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since, but he ain't an easy man to find. Can't say as I really know. Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. Hell, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fella with a guitar might find a job, huh? Hmm, maybe it's time to give these tired old bones a rest. All right, show me what you've got. And I suppose it's only right you get a little something for your troubles. Here, my daddy left me this gun. Guess I don't need it no more. Oh, it's you again. What is it? Really? The tops, huh? Well, it's no shark club, but I hear security on the strip is real tight. Even Mr. Bishop wouldn't hit a joint like that. I'll check it out. Thanks. Uh, yeah, yeah. See you later.
You again. You... Gee, some people. I hear a troublesome legion camp got raised to the ground. Honored to speak with you, man. People are talking, buddy. How are you today? Santiago is fabulous. It is a dream come true. Santiago never thought he could work in such a wondrous den of vice and iniquity. Bye. Well, if it isn't my number one fan, what can I do for you, number one fan? Too bad I got this ironclad contract with the Garretts. They'll never let me out of it. Huh. Good luck. Garrett's a tough, mean son of a bitch. He's not likely to give up. Let me know if you make any headway. Yeah, go on. Scram. Hey, chum. Welcome back. Now, why would I want to do that? His performances make me quite a lot of money. You have been a useful associate, that I'll grant you. Okay, he's yours for a discount. Just make sure the stage is downwind of the audience. Bye. Evening. Howdy. And I may have answers. I don't know how they do it. They're like saints, those followers. If they didn't charge for their services, I'd think they was crazy. But nah, they're just naive. Warms their heart. What starts in misery tends to stay there. 
Freeside wasn't Freeside until six or seven years ago. That's when Mr. House's robots rolled out of the Lucky 38 and started pushing everyone who wouldn't join him off the strip. Lots of folks died. Some scattered to the winds. The rest wound up in Freeside and seemed never to lose the habit of living like refugees. What about them? Pretty much the sort of gang you'd find anywhere else. Just with better clothes. The king himself, though? He's got that something special you can't put a finger on. Too bad he likes girls with skin. I reckon they care about getting water and electricity from the dam. And that's where it ends. The locals here are just an inconvenience to them. Something to step over or stomp down. They're here for the resources, plain and simple. Before or after the human race shot itself in the foot. I've been around long enough to have both opinions, see. Before the war, Mr. House was a famous captain of industry. Robotics, to be specific, seemed charming in interviews. Until he became a recluse. Since the war, though, <laughs> didn't make a peep for near 200 years. But when he came back, he came back strong and killed a lot of people. Couple of rad scorpions, those two. Gloria is the stable one, but she'd slit your throat if there's a prophet in it. Or rather, she'd tell her brother to do it for her. John Baptiste is one of the sicker humans I've had the displeasure of observing. What did you want to know? Yep. Any luck with Garrett yet? Really? You mean I'm finally out of this shithole? That's great! Thank you! Come to the Silver Rush for all your energy weapons. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest entertainment experience in New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini, and how can I make your day? A cowboy act, yeah. He dropped on in here not too long before you. He's got chops, baby, real chops. And I ain't just talking about that mustache. And like we agreed, here's your fee. 5% of the cut comes to 166 caps. Don't spend them all in one place now, unless it's right here. You talking about Mr. Isaac? 
Damn, baby, when you bring them in, you bring them in. That cat's gonna bring me money like you wouldn't believe. Here's your 5%, baby. You enjoy that. That comedian, you mean? Yeah. He was a hell of a haggler. Cost me a pretty cap. Hope he's worth it. Here's your 5%. That ugly mug with the razor tongue? <laughs> Take it, baby. He'll be one hell of a novelty act, just like Tommy promised. Here's your 5%. You know it, baby. Take it easy, baby. How's it hanging? <laughs> 